Opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Buzz's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. India play their next Super 4 encounter against Sri Lanka. Now, this isn't the same Sri Lanka. This isn't the same Sri Lanka that started this tournament, Fifi. What confidence winning uh, wins that they have had in the last game they uh, they beat Afghanistan before that that game against Bangladesh are brilliant yeah absolutely i mean making a comeback is the most uh, difficult thing to do when you, when you were blown out of the tournament and yeah. there were, i'm sure the coaches and captain they must have said okay we've got out for 100 it could have been you know a bad day for us let's not analyze too much into it but once you analyze too much into it that means you're thinking too much but i'm sure that's what they must have spoken in the dressing room 100 all out just you know just forget it like a bad dream and, and you know try and restart the tournament and which exactly what they did they came out with attacking mindset they came mm. out with not attacking on the field they came out attacking off the field as well in press conference with uh, they needed support yeah. everything came attacking and, and they chased down 183 they sh that's showing confidence which is which is great sign for tournament we've always been saying Sri Lanka is a team which is you know rebuilding and then mm -hmm. when you're on a rebuilding process you want to make sure that you're winning few big games and which they did before Sri Lanka Afghanistan game, we thought that you know, they, looking at this squad, and if you look at Afghanistan squad, everyone was thinking Afgh Afghanistan was, you know, better looking side man yeah. to man. But they went out there and, and Sri Lanka produced results, which is great for the tournament, which is great for Asian cricket and for Sri Lankan cricket. Acha, suddenly names are plenty in the squad sheet. Twenty Scott. names. Yeah. yeah. Twenty names is bigger than some yeah. IPL squads. <laughs> yeah. No, and and a lot of them have now started looking very dangerous. Beat Charit. I mean, beat Chamika Karuna Ratne. Beat the way Vanindu Asaranga batted. There's of course yeah. Kusal Mendes at Again, the top. Again, aside that bats too Again, aside yeah, that bats too late. Correct. Bats too late. I don't think Karuna Ratne is a four overs bowler. Mm. But he doesn't need to be a four overs bowler, given that they've got Shanaka and uh, uh, Hasaranga batting in the top seven. So he doesn't need to be a four overs bowler. So and and then even uh, Asalanka can give you a little can yeah, give you a little bit, spin, yeah. but they still need to get the top order sorted. Yeah. Once they get the top order sorted, they tried the Rajapaksa as a finisher that time. So if they get the top order sorted, they'll be a they'll be a good side. I think Rajapaksa can bat a bit higher. He can, you know, yeah. With the kind of capability. I thought for Punjab is making the difference batting different. at three. Three, yeah. yeah so maybe they can batting at six. Yeah, someone who's in a good form. Maybe yeah. with the way Shanaka bats, the kind of experience that Hasaranga has, we try and get Rajapaksa your informed main batsman at maybe three, and you know make sure so that he plays with certain. Run rate also, rate. Because that, that's also because they have Gunathilika and Asalanka batting up the order, so they have to bat uh, Rajapaksha down with the kind of form that he is in. But Gunathilika used to open the batting, didn't he? They, they, they brought yeah. him down because they like Kusal Mendes at Kusal, the top yeah, of the order. Yeah, but yeah. Kusal Mendes is a better player than having necessarily to bat mm -hmm. at, at, at the top. I still think someone like a Dequella, a free stroking person, could make a difference, but that's, that's yeah. their call. Yeah, correct. This is going to be a crunch encounter because Sri Lanka are very high on confidence and the, I mean, the kind of freedom in their batting is, I think, it stems from the fact that they bat very deep. The, only the way they batted against Afghanistan as well. The only thing is when they're playing against India, the press conferences won't be as interesting. My two bowlers are better than you all. No, no, my two bowlers are better. No, no, my two my bowlers two are better. World class. World class is the word. World Evil. class, world yeah. class. <laughs> and, and Mahela will be. Switching off his phone as well. He won't be switching as much. <laughs> really, really. But uh, let's have a look at the Indian squad. Now, what changes do you make here? Do you make any changes at all or do you go in with the same combination? Because combination is a big headache now. If you want to play three fast bowlers, yeah. and Hardik is the fourth, which I think is how they will have to go in Australia, then they've got to make that change. If Avesh Khan's not going to be uh, well enough, is he, go is he so badly off that yeah. they have to make a change? If that happens, do they call in a Kuldeep Sen, who was, who was impressive playing in the IPL? Or do they say, no, we'll get uh, Deepak Chahar? Because if Chahar gets his rhythm right, in much the way that we are talking about KL Rahul, if Chahar gets his rhythm right, and if Harshal Patel is not going to be fit in time, I desperately hope he is, because it's such a great story. Yeah. It would be so good for him if he gets fit. But if he is not, then I think Chahar is a better replacement, also giving you batting at 8. But is he is he ready enough? Does he have enough bowling behind him? Yeah, but he, he, bowled, he bowled, what, third? 25, 30 overs right. and 25 overs against Zimbabwe, yeah. but yeah, but we're still, you know, trying players. We're still, you know, giving games to players. And if we feel that if Deepak Chahar is the man to go, and bring him in now. Right? Bring him in now yeah. because yeah. that's Absolutely. that's what we are doing with KL Rahul. Correct. Right. Yeah. If if you look at KL Rahul, he doesn't look ready at this point. He looks a player. Except today, he looks a player. He looked a player like you know he wasn't getting game time. Mm -hmm. But if you want to play Deepak Chahar, if you see him as your fourth bowler in 
World Cup, then just might as well play him, him now. Yeah, absolutely. Let him in now. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I would play him in the in uh, in the two games against Sri Lanka and Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Get those eight overs in there and be ready for for what follows. Mm -hmm. But if you think that Avesh Khan is not your fourth bowler in Australia, and if you're afraid that Harshal Patel may not be fit enough in time to uh, to deliver, then Chahar is your is your fourth bowler. Yeah. yeah. Then you got to play him now. There's one thing which still surprises me with that uh, India doesn't consider Mohammad Shami in Absolutely. into this yeah. package. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's 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 that's, that's an hour-long debate at least. At least, I mean, it's very difficult to <laughs> yeah. understand sometimes. But you know, it's it's yeah, it's yeah. it's a very long discussion. Look, if you've got if you got a Bumra and Arshdeep, a little bit of Bhuvi all in the squad, then Shami doesn't need to bowl at the end. Yeah, Shami he can bowl up front. And, and he's he been up front. Well. He's giving you wickets up front. Yeah, but he's been bowling well at the end overs also yeah. in the yeah. last couple of years. He bowled really well in, again when he was playing with Punjab. I mean, he was bowling excellently with the new ball for Gujarat, and yeah. probably one of the reasons why Gujarat won IPL. Yes. So I mean, we've rewarded Dinesh Karthik for playing so well in IPL. I mean, he, he's made a comeback. So why not Mohammad Shami? Yeah. As I said, it can be an hour-long discussion there. But if you have a look at uh, Team India squad one last time there, that there are also two names that are not highlighted. Of course, didn't play against Pakistan are Akshar Patel and Ravi Chandran Ashwin. Akshar Patel, of course, came in for uh, Ravindra Jadeja, who's out injured, and Ravi Chandran Ashwin. Would you would you fancy playing Ravi Chandran Ashwin? Perhaps give him a game, as you said, because if you've carried him to this point, you'd like to give him some games as well. Much like Chahar, yeah, I'd like to say, is Ashwin in your team to Australia? If Ashwin is in your team to Australia, just see if he can bat at seven. See if the see if the combinations are working. Because the captain also wants to know where, what is the best uh, period to use him. Unless they think, look, with Ashwin, we know everything there is that needs to be known. Let let let's look at the others. If that's the thinking, I don't know. Yeah, well, that, that could be the thinking. Otherwise, you know, you want. Uh senior players like Ashwin and Dinesh Karthik in your playing eleven, you don't want them to you know sit out and just watch the game because no matter no matter how many uh, how many days you are spending with the team, but if you're not spending those days on the ground, yeah. then you also no, how, how much our experience you have, you want to have those game time. Uh, we've seen with the greats, we've seen Virat Kohli has got 70 hundreds, but he still needed that game time yeah. to mm -hmm. gain that the form. Yeah. And it's same with Ashwin, same with Dinesh Karthik, same with any player in the world. Yeah, you need. So what do we do, with Rishabh Pant? That's an interesting one. Yeah, so. you took a call today saying, okay, we need that left-hander. Let's play mm -hmm. Rishabh Pant in. But now in the next game, do you say, oh, okay, I'm playing uh, Akshar Patel. Suppose I've got the left-hander. Then maybe. Then what happens? Or, or are you going to now say, okay, Rishabh Pant, we'll give you a fair go. We'll give you two more games. Yeah, but that's that's what it then, should happen. But I, I don't know whether they're thinking on those lines as well, because what Rahul Vai said in his press conference that we will try and their best uh, eleven, right? Uh, yeah. Best eleven, and as and when required. As and when and required. required. <laughs> Conditions are allowing, so they were obviously the press conference was both open from both the sides. So yeah, you know, the lawyer there, in me loved that difficult. press conference. I loved it. Yeah. Such good answers. You can't pick one fault with them. I mean, yeah. he only just he just didn't use those words. Provided that notwithstanding, he just didn't use those words, but he meant exactly that. Yeah. Year in after, year two with yeah, all, year in after, whatever. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. all yeah. of them. You can't pick fault in one of those answers. I mean, he's left them so. But did he tell you what you wanted to hear, or did he did he play no. his cards close to his chest and say, "Okay, I'll spend some time with you." But actually, I've not told you what I actually think. That's exactly that what has happened. Exactly it was, what yeah, happened in the exactly, press conference. Yeah. So exactly. That, that is the reason why it is very difficult from for us to predict playing eleven because we sometimes you get that you know from press conference you get get an idea about what kind of combination India is thinking or what coach is thinking, what captain is thinking. But here it was you never know. Even, even today we didn't know whether Dinesh Karthik will play or Rishabh Pant will play or say Akshar Patel will play or R Ashwin will play. And we, then Deepak Hooda. Yeah, there was only one. Yeah. It was only there was only one clear indication that Avesh Khan will not play today. Yeah, Otherwise, because he was ill. everything, all 14 players were available. That you don't want a situation where you're going into a World Cup with insecure players. Yep. Mm. So they've got to figure right. that out. Correct. I think one other problem solved. I, I quite liked how KL Rahul batted. I think. Yeah. Today. yeah. I think that is the way he has to bat. And I think for the and we saw the batter in Virat Kohli that we know. Yeah. Yeah. I still think in the game against Pakistan, the first one he looked a little rusty. He was okay leg side, not so good off side. Uh, even against Hong Kong, okay, but remember we talked about how the balls used against Hong Kong must start being seen here. Yeah. yeah. And I think we saw that today uh, with Virat. But you can't have a situation where your number eight is being farmed in the last over. Yeah. yeah. Has happened eight, with him and Bhuvneshwar Kumar. Yeah. Number eight has to be able to uh, take the strike in strike, the 20th yeah. over. Maybe yeah. one hit or two hit. I mean, it 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 comes down to those two hits when you are you are batting at eight. You know, it doesn't come down to it's not a. You, but you're not expecting him to get 30s and 40s, you're just expecting him to hit one hit out yeah. of yeah. two balls, Correct. three balls, which he faces.